Hello everyone, welcome to my latest tutorial. This tutorial uh, is orientated around Manchester City and Aguero as you can quite clearly see and it's just a just a tutorial on how I go about doing some of my designs and styles and uh, something that you can apply and just showing you the technique that I use. It's not really aimed at beginners uh, in that sense that I'm not going to talk through what clipping masks are, blend modes, what layers mean, all that sort of stuff, okay? It's for people who have followed my tutorials previously uh, or are familiar with the program or and people who are just looking for a, a general new style or workflow if you yeah <laughs> right uh, so yeah so I'll uh, I'll stop going on so what I'll do is without further ado I'm gonna get straight into it so I've already set up a document already okay it's 1200 by 1600 pixels okay uh, 300 pixels per inch it's portrait orientation and it's there right in front of us first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of the padlock and I've got this uh, charcoal -y color over here, this 171717, okay, and I'm just gonna fill my background. This way, any uh, any sort of gaps in between the images, it'll just be uh, like the charcoal. Then I'm gonna place uh, their images, and I've got these three images that I've selected here. Obviously, this being the main one, uh, not sure which year this is from. It's, it's certainly not last season's, because. Man City won the Premier League uh, down at Brighton, much to uh, mine and Liverpool's heartache. I'm a big Liverpool fan, if you're not already knowing. Um, so yeah, so just go about uh, placing out your image now. It doesn't matter what your what your image is or what you're using. All I would say is just uh, have like a, a focal point, and with this one, bring up the constraints tool, nice and big, nice and large. Okay, you've got the Premier League trophy dominating. I'm just going to move him down there, cover up the grass. Uh, dominating the picture with Aguero, and then we're going to have these images in the background. Um, but because I'm super lazy, what I've done is I've saved time, I've already cut him out, and then I can work on the images in the background. So press Command T, and place him there. What I might do is just might just go back and have a look. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'm just going to place these images out. Okay, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've got them roughly placed. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mask away on this one. Okay, I'm just using a soft brush. I have had people ask me what brushes I'm using. Okay, it's just the standard, um, the standard brushes that come with Photoshop. And I'm just going to drop the flow down. Okay, don't worry too much about the colour. We just kind of want it to blend in. Uh, Yeah, something uh, something similar to that. Okay, and let me just I'm just going to keep going back and uh, referring. Okay, this one's a little bit too big. Something along those lines. Yeah, that's okay for now. So uh, just take your time there. So I'm just going to get rid of Aguero there. So we've got our uh, our two images there. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, click the top image here. I'm going to add a brightness adjustment layer. So the brightness I'm just going to drop down to around 40. A little bit too much. And the contrast I'm just going to bring up to around 30. Next, I'm just going to desaturate the whole image, hue saturation adjustment layer, and you notice now it's uh, splendid in quite nicely here. And I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer as well. Now I'm just going to drop it down slightly, raise up my shadows, 
bring that in. And as you can see here, uh, it's looking quite good. Now I'm going to uh, give it a stamp visible. So I'm going to press Command, Shift, Alt, and E. Then we've got this uh, stamp visible layer. I'm going to convert that to a smart object in case I don't want to go back to it. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I've given it 1.5 pixels. Now I'm just blurring the background, just a fraction, just so uh, the main image stands out a little bit better. Now before I get to work on the rest of the image with Aguero, what uh, I usually do is a good little technique. You see you've got these, uh, these hard lines all the way around. You can see where I've cut it out using the pen tool. What I like to do is I like to uh, create a mask, hit my brush tool, and drop the flow down. We'll see what two looks like. And I just like to mask away the hard edges and help it blend in a little bit more. Now this usually works a little bit better when I do it towards the end of the design. So what we'll find, what I'll do is, I'll probably come back to it at the end after we've um, added all the glows and whatnot. Okay, and we'll uh, we'll really soften it up. So at the minute, as you can see, it's quite um, it's quite sharp, quite edgy. Don't worry too much about that at the minute. We're going to come back to that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is then I'm just going to click this layer before that I had, and I'm going to create a new layer underneath, and I'm going to get a nice white, and I've still got my soft brush selected. Nice soft brush. The flow is a little bit too low. Probably try forty percent. This is where we're going to start adding some of the glow. Now, what I recommend is don't doing too much too soon. Just bringing it in. I'm going to rename this layer white glow. And I'm also going to do a blue layer. Now I'm going to have the blue layer above the white layer. I'm going to go and select like a nice blue, maybe something like that. Let's have a look. Something like that. Now what I'm going to do with the blue, I'm going to change the blend mode to colour as well for the blend mode. Just so it's not going to be too crazy. And I'm just going to drop the opacity down slightly as well. Just so enough so it's standing out but it's not too... Uh, it's not too mad. Again, I spent a lot of time uh, trying to perfect this. In fact, let's put the blue behind the white. Looks a bit better. So I want the blue like getting edged onto his shirt there. And then I'm going to go back to the white. What I can do is I just change the colour palette there. So I'm looking at areas just on the edge where we want this this white glowing coming out of. And it's all going to be blended in because we're going to uh, blend it on the top as well. And I'm going to go back to the blue. So look at my reference picture. Yeah, we had quite a lot of blue coming out the top. Okay, so what we'll, what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to keep working on that. Um, yeah, 
yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep coming back to that to that layer and we'll keep adding to it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, just with this image now, so I'm going to reduce the brightness on it. So brightness and contrast. I'm going to drop it down to 80. I'm going to make sure it's clipped as well so it's only working the Aguero level. And I'm going to click the little icon here. And what I'm going to do is soft brush again. And I'm just going to paint away just so it adds to it as well. So, so it accentuates the uh, the highlights. So what I'll do is I'm going to speed this up and then I'll get back to you. So as you can see here, I've taken my time. Okay, it, it did take quite a while. Um, so I've just cut straight to it. So as you can see here on the mask, I've uh, what I've done, I've take, we've desaturated it. Uh, so we've reduced the brightness down to 80%. And then I've just masked away. Uh, and just highlighting all the, sh all the highlights and shadows basically. So... Uh, at the minute it's looking good and it's just one small effect and multiple effects when they step up on each other. Uh, next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a saturation layer. Okay, I'm going to desaturate Aguero down now to around 50. I'm going to clip him. So as you can see he's now a bit more desaturated and if we just look at the brightness and contrast, okay, just the difference it's made straight away. Now, again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mask away the ribbons. So, bring out the blue. So, I've got it on about 5% flow. And it just means the ribbons just stand out a little bit more. And again, it's just one small little soft feature. Might just stand out against this shirt. So you can see there the difference in the saturation between the ribbons and his shirt. And again, it's just, it just helps it stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to paint around here. It should take more than a few seconds. Again, if you're using a completely different set of images, just uh, pick like a main feature. I, I, it could be like a club crest or something on a, on a shirt or a logo or something just to uh, make it stand out a little bit more. And uh, I like, I like where that's gone there. So we've uh, masked out the ribbons. Next, I'm going to uh, add some selective colours. So I'm going to go to where are you? Selective colour down the bottom. I'm going to clip it again. Uh, so notice it's gone uh, straight to the yellows because that's what I was mainly focusing on. So cyan's are dropped down to 65, 66 percent. Magneta plus five plus six and minus twenty. And um, we can see the small difference it's made just playing with the gold. Again, if you're using different images, these values are going to be a little bit different. Just play around with it, see what you uh, what you like and what what you play with. Uh, I'm going to go to the science as well, plus three. Plus 65. So trying to bring out his shirt here as well. The colours in his shirt. It's got to plus 66, doesn't matter. Minus 50. I know I've just played with the yellows there. Um, like I said, it was just the values I was playing with. And minus 10. Um, straight away. And then what I also did is I did another selective layer when I was playing around with it. Selective colour. And I just played with the yellows on this one. Minus 100. Plus 5. Plus 5. And minus 20. So 
So as you can see, it's just added uh, another small amount to it. Apologies, make sure that's clipped there as well. Uh, so yeah, that was the uh, the main effect that I was looking for on there. Now, what I'm also uh, also did was uh, the highlights and the shadows again. So I'm going to click on my Aguero layer, and I'm going to call this one. We'll work on the shadows first. Okay, press D, get my black selected, hit my brush tool, nice soft brush, two percent for the flow. Okay, and I just the usual what I usually do just add and accentuate the shadows that isn't around the players and it's a real nice technique and I like doing it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the shadows again I can't emphasize enough how much you need to take your time on this there's quite a lot to do if you want to make it look really good um, again if you followed my tutorials before you know sometimes I do rush them just because of the uh, the length of the tutorial I don't want to take up too much of your time I'm just showing you the techniques that I use so please just take your time I'm going to speed this up I'm going to leave it up for you to follow along and to see what I changed um, and I'll get back to you shortly So you can see there um, what I've done, I've just done the shadows again, I probably could have spent more time on it, I've just quickly rushed through it just for the purposes of the tutorial. Uh, let's go back to this one and just add these features back on, the shading, so you can see the shading I did there, uh, not too much different to be honest. Okay next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the highlights, so again it's just going to be the same again but the opposite, just be careful not to go over too much of your shading. What I'll do is, I'm just going to add the highlights. And I'll speed it up and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've, uh, I've added a few highlights there. Again, I'm just going to go back and check. Uh, okay, so uh, on this one, on the highlights, what I did is I'm going to do a separate layer. Call that highlights. I'm going to add the glow in, so I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to keep it on white. Now, if you noticed on the previous layer, really focused around the Premier League trophy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start now to add, add the glow. So it's clipped, and it's at these moments here now where I'm just going to start painting on and getting the glow going around Aguero. And as you can see, it's starting to blend on. I'm just going to play around with it. That's all it is, it's just experimenting and playing with it. So you see the glow that's coming on already. When it comes to these small corners, again, when you're cutting it out, don't forget to uh, cut out the parts in and around the trophy just there. And it's like we're trying to get overemphasize the fact that there's a glow coming from behind like a smoky misty glow getting something just down there increase it to nine yeah nine's a bit better nine or ten maybe a little bit in there as well so it's just creeping around Yeah, in the crooks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some more glow and I'll get back to you.
Okay, so what I can also do is then, like I've just checked there, is new layer underneath, and then we can really add a small faint glow as well. So that's another small good technique. We'll try it on nine. Yeah, nine looks good, 9% 9 flow. Perhaps we've done it on the wrong layer, layer four. And like I mentioned before with that hard line, it's gonna look really good when it's all blended in shortly. So this hard edge here that I'm going around now, that's just gonna slowly disappear. So I'll speed this up and I'll get back to you. The blue layer. So let me just check the color that I used over here. If I can find it. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Um, so we'll go for a nice blendy blue, layer six. So it's not not really too bothered what uh, what colour they're in. Nice soft brush tool. And again, I'm just going to paint on, and you can now start to see that blue effect now because it's under the white. It's it's blending in a little bit. And uh, I do like how it's looking. Maybe a little bit too strong there. There we go. Maybe down his shirt and underneath his arm as well. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that so far. Um, again, what we can do is we can go back on this layer and work on it. With the blue and the glow. Let's have a look how it compares. It's quite a bit much, so I'm going to add a new layer above that white glow. Yeah, that's better. It's bringing out the blue a lot more. Just nice and subtle, nothing too much. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that. And in fact, with the blue glow, which was layer six, I'm just gonna lower the opacity down slightly. Yeah, that's looking good. And then the last uh, couple of things I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go back to my background layer just here. I'm going to make sure I'm selecting white. I need to rasterize it, so I'm just going to click OK. Okay, bearing in mind it's not a clipping mask, so you need to be careful. I'm going to make sure I've got white selected. I've got still got a 9% flow. Maybe that's a little bit too strong there. 4%. Okay, I'm just going to paint on just a little bit of white there. And you can see I've given it a glow, and the same over here. just to give him that glow effect. Again, like I said, with a lot of this, I spent a lot of time uh, doing it, so just take your time. I do feel like this is being rushed. Um, but yeah, there we go. 
So yeah, I like that how uh, how that's been done. So just to recap before we finish then, so uh, we filled our background layer, we placed our images, we adjusted the brightness, saturation, did some curves, created a stamp visible for our background and we blurred it slightly, placed a guero, put some glow, white and blue in the background, drop the blue down, color blend mode, drop the opacity down slightly, add a little bit more blue just on the top just before. Then we've done shadows and highlights, really played around with it, and then we've added our brightness, dropped it down, masked away, desaturated, unsaturated the ribbons, did some selective color layers. Now, like I said before, this is the magic touch that I like now. Hit the B for the brush tool, and I'm going to mask away the hard edges. See what it's like on mine. I've got a soft brush. And you can see straight away the difference that that's making, and it's nice and soft. And it's almost magically painted away now. If I was to disable the layer mask, you see it comes straight back. You've got that hard edge. And it's the same around the neck. Okay, you might not want to be as strong in some places. definitely makes the hair blending better as well. Okay, so I'm not going to go uh, too much into that. You can see the difference that it's made just there. Work on it around uh, these edges as well, around the Premier League Trophy. Makes a massive difference. It just helps it, um, helps it blend in a lot more. And then the last thing that I did, create a stamp visible there, can shift Alt and E. Got my grungy paper texture, I'll link that in the description below. Just let that load up. Place it, and then what did I use? Did I use screen? No. Overlay. In fact it wasn't overlay, I'll just go and have a look. Multiply. Go to where are you? Multiply. There we go. And it's just uh, a bit of a grungy paper of text effects. It's just something uh, something else to consider. Maybe use. So there we go. There's our uh, there's our image. I think I prefer this uh, this one here that I've done during this tutorial. Um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Again, it's just a way of showing my technique and how I go about things. Okay, I'm getting lots of nice messages from people saying they're enjoying these videos and they're learning quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate everyone's support, everyone's messages. They're really, uh, really nice. And if you are on Instagram, go ahead and follow me, TB Photoshop Tutorials. Links in the description below. And uh, if you do make any work and you put it on your Instagram, uh, link me in or just send me a message showing me. Uh, again, it's fantastic to see people doing some of the designs and tutorials that I've been showing. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stop rabbiting on now and talking. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.